so I was thinking about the lives of some people in this world. Those who are going through circumstances where they need help. can't get it or are afraid specifically I was thinking about women being in situations where in relationship with a man and they're in fear for their life they've been abused beat up hospitalized and yet they don't leave or can't leave or believe they can't for fear of death which has occurred to me is um, as another layer of interest in that We're so afraid of death as a being, and yet there's so many of us that hold that there is something greater beyond our death, and yet we're still afraid to get there. So what just occurred to me is that a woman of faith would be in a situation where she doesn't want to leave the abuse, the fear, the pain, the torture. Because she's afraid that she's going to be killed and go to heaven. So, but outside of that, let me complain that generally to all people, all people of faith who still hold the fear of death, who are still concerned about trying to live in this world as long as possible, and yet they believe they are going to the greatest thing afterwards just interesting to me the truth of it is interesting to me if I'm seeing correctly what the truth is saying but um so I was thinking about that then I thought well Why can't the people, what what would it take to get people to change from that same being? Not only the victim, but the victimizer. But then I said, well, damn. What makes you think that living with you is any better? Been living with anyone else, or specifically speaking to being in a situation of hurt, pain, and suffering. That's myself makes you think you ain't called such yourself. And I have in some aspect. Well, I have in truth. But it's but not speaking directly to my initial situation of a couple. So the question is, how do we change ourselves? If one is to believe that we can change ourselves to a being other than our current of existence, now, for those who currently 
are alive. Maybe the truth is that it's beyond us. But the truth doesn't stop from stop it from being true in the future. At least a thought should be put into the truth of such, the way of such, the need of such. And at the least, at the least, there is the opportunity for Believing in the path to get to such, if one can imagine such. And the question is, why would one not, why would one resist from imagining such? To resist, to ignore, to fight against, <clears throat> excuse me, to... attack even the ideal of such any idea an ideal that is offered to someone there must be an examining of it a validating of it or a negating of it So if I speak to the greatest concept or I speak to the desire to get to the greatest concept, which that one you should not be able to negate as much as I'm saying that I know the greatest one. I'm saying, well, let's speak to what would be the greatest one. What is the ideal that can be imagined? There should be no resistance to that, yes, and yet there will be. It would be just from trying to attempt it to go beyond what someone is currently holding as their belief as is all that is necessary. That they have it. So it's only to speak of anything else. Just a resistance to believing. <clears throat> 